All right, in this video, we are looking at problems number one, number six, and number 11 off of handout 5.5c, solving two-step equations. That handout can be found using the link in the first comment below. So I want to start off by taking a look at number one. The way that I look at it, and we want to kind of examine things real quick right here. This is a regular number. This one has an X with it. This one is also a regular number because it does not have an X with it. So now you can kind of pretend that it's a little OCD or uh, it needs to be organized because here you can't have circles and squares on the same side. You've got to make a pile. So the circles will go over with all of the circles over there. Well, to get this 10 to move over there, um, since this is a positive 10, you will do the opposite, which is minus 10, which you do to one side, you will do to the other. And so now 10 minus 10 is equal to zero. You don't have to write zero. I'm going to drop down the 5x is equal to negative 40 minus 10 is negative 50. And now we still need x by itself. And so here's the last step. Uh, if this is 5 times x, now you have to divide by 5 because 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1x. And that's all we need. We only need to know the value for one single x. So what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. Make sure you do not lose your equal sign straight down the middle. Negative 50 divided by 5 is negative 10. All right, let's go ahead and scroll over here to take a look at number 6. On number 6, let's go ahead and do the same thing and sort this out. Regular number, x. Regular old number, there's no x over here. So I know that circles and squares do not belong together. Circles go with circles, so opposite side, opposite sign. Plus seven, plus seven. So these cancel out. The negative 10x drops down. And negative 197 plus seven is equal to negative 190. And then the last step that you have here is you have to get rid of this 10. So negative 10 divided by negative 10, which you do to one side, you do to the other. Negative 10 divided by negative 10 is positive 1x is equal to a negative and a negative turns into a positive. 190 divided by 10 is 19. So 1x is equal to 19. And then let's go ahead and see if we can scroll down here and handle up that final problem real quick. Number 11. So let's start by observing and sorting. Here's a regular number. This one has a letter and a regular number. Regular numbers are constants, by the way, and letters are variables. Okay, circles go with circles. So we do plus nine and then plus nine. So these will equal zero and the K divided by five will just drop down this time and negative five plus nine is equal to positive four. The final step here is to get this five out of the denominator. But to do so, if you multiply the top by five, then the denominator will reduce. So multiply the top by five. Five divided by five right here is one K is equal to four times five is 20. And that's all, folks.